Tonight, we can show you the latest and unusual weapon in the fight to slow the cane toad menace. A specially trained sniffer dog is patrolling Morton Island to make sure none of the pests made it over there during the recent oil spill cleanup. They can hop, but they can't hide when Nifty's on the case. Good girl. Good girl. Fine. The first dog in Australia specially trained to hunt cane toads. The five-year-old's way of telling her trainer she's found her target. What sort of dog is Nifty? Nifty's a Belgian Malinois. They're widely used in a lot of um, detection for military and um, different purposes. She won't indicate on, um, like, cane toad odour, so she'll find them and she'll keep going until she finds the actual live cane toad. This is Nifty in her official work gear, the muzzle designed to stop her biting toads and copping a mouthful of deadly poison. If she does bite them, yeah, there's a chance that um, she's going to get sick surrounded by cane toads. Right. Does it drive her nuts? It does. Having been trained in Brisbane, Nifty was put to work by the Western Australian government, which is desperately trying to stop the spread of toads. The adventure of going out there and finding toads, she just, it's full on for her. And she get, she, she's excited by the fact. So good as Nifty's nose, cane toads just don't stand a chance. She's able to sniff them out up to 20 metres away. Nifty's back home for three months to do an important job, helping track down any of the pests which may have accidentally made it onto Morton Island during the recent oil clean-up. Hopefully if there's any over there, we're going to track them down and keep that beautiful island canton free. Neil Dawley, Nine News.